Herman Q crowds and I'm slanging paper. I got that prima doodle bug and all that cray paper. I'm sending bowls up by the gram, can you crater? I got these watches for a dollar, holla at me, baby. I got so many children laces, I can send you cases. You need these flowers by the pound, get at me, baby. These glitter ounces about to drive all the crap you crazy. It's me, Carmen Q crafts, and today's video is going to be a birthday challenge entry video but before we hop into this video first off let me say hey girl hey to all my returning subbies hello and welcome to all my newbies thank you so much for pushing that subscribe button it totally means the world to me also don't forget to hit your bell notification so you can be notified every time i post a new video also give my video a thumbs up if you like the content and don't forget to leave me a comment down below i answer back so this entry is from lori who is on YouTube and Instagram as creating for fun. I will put Lori's links down below in the description, but let's hop on right, into so it. So I've cut the tape around the edges of the box. She decorated the front of the box really cute, but I don't want to show her address. So I'm just gonna, oh my God. Let me reposition the, oh my gosh, the camera. Okay, so I unpackaged everything. And I want to start off by the, um, like the box decorations. Look at how pretty she put these really pretty foam flowers with tulle on them. And I don't have any of these, so these will be nice. I think these came from Daiso. I'm not sure. Lori, if you don't mind, will you let me know down below where you got these? These are so pretty. Thank you so much. So pretty. And I'm going to put these back over here. Okay, so the first thing I want to look at is this really pretty birthday card. It says, Happy Birthday. She used my favorite color, which is pink. And then I love this little glitter line. Glitter, um, I think it might be washi tape down the middle. It has this envelope. And then it's like this. Oh, but this is really pretty. Um, I wish she would have wrote in it so I could keep it for myself, but... It's cool. I'm going to re-gift this to somebody to have a happy birthday. Lori, this card is beautiful. It has these pretty gems at the bottom. She did a really pretty job. I really like that. So I will put that back in the envelope. Okay, so the next thing I want to take a look at is the rosettes she made. If you guys don't know, Lori does sell rosettes. Again, her link will be down below. Her rosettes are so beautiful. I'm going to take these out so you guys can see the detail she put into these. Look at the tool. So she made the rosette. And then she went a step further and put this tool on top with these um, bling centers. And then this one she left without the tool, which I like also, because you can really see the um, pattern paper. And then look, they're just really beautiful. And then on top of that, she put um, three layered butterfly embellishments. Man, I love these. Thank you so much. These are beautiful, Lori. Okay. So the next thing that she did was, and I'm going to take these out as well. i never seen these made before, but I haven't been on Instagram um, lately. But look, she made tickets. And I love the fact that she was just so nice to put them on this really nice glitter paper, both the rosettes and the ticket embellishment. So... I could be able to use the um, paper once these are done. But look at how pretty. And then they're dimensional. She popped them up. I love Lori's attention to detail. I think these are so pretty. These are gorgeous. These are really pretty, Lori. Thank you so much. I really, really love those. Oh, and she also makes bows, which... Look at how pretty. So she made these double layered bows. I love the detail. 
and then she used some of the ephemera and then this little sticker here look at these you guys her attention to detail is just fabulous can we agree I really love these I was super excited to see those and then Lori made me a memo dex card I gotta see where you I gotta I gotta see where you guys are ordering these cello bags from and um, because I need to start to package my stuff up cuter, so I need to order some of those. Okay, so she's um, backed it on this really pretty glitter paper. Okay, so um, right here, she's layered this really, really pretty three-layered butterfly. Can you guys see that? And then she put a rhinestone body in there. It's beautiful. She layered this little doily. I think there's two doilies. Or this might be just like a... I think this is a... Um, what is that? Um, why can't I think of the word? Um, perforated circle die. Like the stitching. That's what I'm looking for. Um she used a stitched circle die here and then she layered this really pretty pink doily over it and then she has this rosette and then she put the tool and then another stitch circle and then this cute little cake one so cute and then she put this really pretty jimmy down here and then she has the gold glitter washi going through and on the back it says handmade with love creating for fun and yeah so this is really pretty. I'm going to see if I can get this off of here um, without ruining without ruining the memo dex card. But I love this. This is really pretty. Okay. And then the last thing she put in here is so cute, so tiny. And I like to pop up her butterflies. <laughs> I just feel like we should all appreciate the work and the detail that it took her to make this tiny little dimensional butterfly but look at how pretty this is so this is like a little box I have no idea where she got this box from it's cute I love it so she used one of those Hobby Lobby gold bows and then she layered another one on top and with the cute little pink enamel dot there and then she took the star trim through the middle. And then I love her layers. So she's got paper. She's got washi. She's got the um, paper underneath here. It's beautiful. And then it says celebrate right here. It's like a little celebrate acetate sticker. She's got a doily, some enamel dots. She's got this little cart from those stickers we left from Hobby Lobby. And then she's layered one of those tool rosettes again. Super cute. This case is really cute, Lori. Thank you so much. Oh, she gave me some goodies. So, oh, I like these. So she gave me some of those. She gave me some bows. She gave me some rhinestones. These are nice. Look at these. Look at these little jimmies. Those are pretty. And then she gave me some of those um, fluffy like. <clears throat> and she gave me some of these fluffy cotton candy um, bows from Daiso. Well, they're like flowers. They're really cute. And then she gave me some gold bows. Look at how pretty these are. And then she included the cute little sequins in the bubble jars. That's cute. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. So cute. Oh my god, I'm like I'm gonna get my suitcase and go to work. It's so cute, Lori. Thank you so much. Okay, let's do Lori's point. Okay, Lori, so this is what I have you down for. Let me know if you feel like it should be different. So I have Lori here creating for fun. 
And then she got eight points for the memo dex card, which is this. And then she got seven points for the embellishment box, which is this one. She got five, 10, 15 points for the embellishment sets because she sent three different embellishment sets. She got three points for the birthday card. I gave her 40 points for the extra theme points because it is both a birthday theme paper and also a sweet treat theme paper. So I gave you 40 points there. And then I believe she posted on Instagram. So I did give her um, 15 points for the repost. Lori, let me know if you did a YouTube video as well. If you did a YouTube video, I'll add another um, 15 points for reposting on there as well. So she has a grand total of 88 points. So thank you so much, Lori, for entering. I think this project came out beautiful. Um, yeah, thank you so much for participating. And until next time, guys, keep crafting your hearts away. Bye.